Welcome to another video on aircraft structures from Callahan Aircraft Services. I'm Jim Callahan. I'm an FADER. Today we're going to chat about free body diagrams. First, we have to have a balanced free body diagram. So when you play tug of war, or did play tug of war, you pulled on the rope, and the whole concept was who wins the tug of war because you're going to be unequal on one side. But if both sides are equal and you keep pulling, the rope breaks. Come down to a joint in the airplane, you have back to back fittings with a tension bolt attaching them. The load path would actually be up and then back down. Now if you rotate it and you have up and down, you have the same principle on the tension bolt, except in aircraft we don't like to put bolts on the bottom, the head on the bottom, because if the nut comes loose the bolt falls through. Well that's only in a shear application. In a tension application you lose the nut, you lose the bolt, it just falls out. Now we're going to do a free body diagram of an airplane, 747, 1969. Lift, weight, drag, thrust. Thrust from the engine, lift from the wing, weight of the airplane, and drag being in the way. If you think that's balanced, you're going to crash. If you notice, these two don't line up, neither do these two. There's a rotation taking place. Therefore, we have to have lift on the horizontal stabilizer. But it's not really lift, it's down load. That's the balance of free body diagram, otherwise you'd rotate and crash. And I don't know why our brothers over in Arrow didn't fix that. You think they'd have lift and lift both being up. Well, what do I know? I'm a mechanical engineer. We're going to go from 1969 to 1938. And notice the free body diagram hasn't changed. We have weight, drag, lift, thrust, and download on the horizontal stabilizer. Just because I put the arrows differently, it doesn't change the free body diagram. And then we have cabin pressure. We had cabin pressure on the 472. Remember, physics doesn't change. The Wright brothers worked these four components. Lift, weight, drag, and thrust. And they had a long tail. Now we have a flagpole and I'd like you to draw the free body diagram of the flagpole. You have the wind, you have the flag, and you have the ground. Everything's got to be reacted into the ground. So draw the balanced free body of this flagpole. And here are th three possible answers. Three. There's more. We have wind, the reaction to the wind, and the moment from the wind. Here we just draw the drag because we're going to neglect the wind. Over here we neglected the flag. And then we have the reaction at the bottom. And over here we have the drag and the wind, but if you notice this drag here is at the bottom. That's because the flagpole is attached at the bottom and the top. It's not attached straight on. Details are important. Okay? But now, if you want to do it fast, you just draw one arrow up here and put all the load up here and react it down here. Or skip all the algebra. And that's it.